Hello everyone, my name is Rod. And my name is Oliver. Today will be our sixth episode of our podcast on the New York City Subway System. Uh, this episode will be about the Brooklyn Lines, which is going to be the G, J, Z, and L train. Um, I hope you'll all enjoy this episode, and please make sure to have a subway map out to follow along. So to start off, we'll just have some service pattern information for these four lines. So first is the G train, which runs from Court Square in Queens to Church Avenue in Brooklyn. So this is the only non-shuttle service to not go into Manhattan. So if you're at any of the stations along the G and need to go to Manhattan, you are unfortunately going to have to transfer. Uh, the G runs local along the Crosstown line until Bergen Street, and then joins the Culver line along with the F train until Church Avenue. Next is the J train and the Z trains, which run from Broad Street in Manhattan to Jamaica Center, Parsons Archer in Queens. The Z train only runs during rush hours in the peak direction, which means towards Manhattan in the morning and towards Queens in the afternoon. Um, and of course, and the Z train does not run on weekends. So during rush hours in the peak direction, the J and Z trains run express between Marcy Avenue and Myrtle Avenue in Brooklyn. Um, and after Myrtle Avenue, the trains run with what is called a skip stop pattern until 121st Street. So this skip stop pattern means that J trains essentially stop at every other stop and the Z trains stop at stations in between. Uh, this is meant to speed up journey times. And you can also reference the, a subway map for full details on which stations are served by the J train or Z train during rush hours. Next we have the L train, which runs from 8th Avenue in Manhattan to Canarsie Rockaway Parkway in Brooklyn. It runs local along 14th Street in Manhattan and then local along the Canarsie line throughout Brooklyn. So first we're gonna start with attractions along the route of the G train. So as we said, the G train starts at Court Square in Queens, runs along the Crosstown line uh, through Queens and Brooklyn. Uh, the G passes through a lot of young and hip neighborhoods, such as Long Island City, Greenpoint, and Williamsburg. Very popular with young people. There's a mix of residential um, buildings with uh, studios and apartments, and also chic and modern boutiques, restaurants, cafes, and a vibrant nightlife scene. So if you're a young person looking to move to New York, you are probably going to end up in one of these neighborhoods and end up taking the G train. Some notable stations, we have Fulton Street, uh, where you can go to the Atlant Atlantic Terminal and the, at the Barclays Center, which we've mentioned before, and also Hoyt Shermer, Shermerhorn Street, uh, where you have the, next to the New York City Transit Museum, uh, where they have old subway trains in a decommissioned subway station that they have turned into a museum. And it's also the filming location for the music video for Bad by Michael Jackson. Yeah, was just, this was mentioned in a previous episode, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then the G train joins the Culver Line at Bergen Street and runs with the F train until it terminates at Church Avenue. Some notable stations along this part of the line are Smith 9th Street, which is the highest elevated subway station and as it's 88 feet above street level. And the platforms provide very nice views of the Manhattan skyline with the Freedom Tower in the center. And then another important stop is 15th Street Prospect Park where you can visit Prospect Park. Um, we've mentioned this in the 6th Avenue Lines episode, I believe. Um, a five, it's a 526-acre park, lots of outdoor activities, uh, such as like boating, bicycling, tennis, volleyball, and they even have a zoo there. And then the G train ends at the Church Avenue station. Um, so now moving on to the J and Z trains. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that apparently the alleged namesake of Jay-Z uh, came from the names of these trains because he actually grew up in the area around these lines um but again that's an that's a that's a i don't know if that's true or not but a little superstition you, you, yeah you can believe what you want <laughs> um so the first station i'm going to talk on this line is the broad street station here once again you have it is very close to new york uh, stock exchange um it, which is an impressive building it's a great to take a pic good picture of and then it's also near something called the Alamo Draft House Cinema. So this is actually a cinema where you can actually get like good food and drink that's while you're watching the movie. So it's like you can get like a beer, you can get like um, 
I believe, like, actual, like... Uh, like, full sit-down full dinner. Sit, yeah, like a full sit-down dinner, and you also are able to watch a movie, which is d- definitely, a, like, a cooler concept that, that's not really available in many, many areas. I feel like I'm a bit more... I like the classic movie theater experience of you just get, like, a popcorn and then a drink. Then you relax. I think the meal is like, I don't know, divides your attention a bit too much if you're trying to But watch then you have movie. to sell your liver for like movie movie popcorn, which True. is like lots of is, butter. It's good, but like is it uh, Wagyu steak good or like whatever? Mm, that's like, true. Like, like, but do you at least need... at least at least you know what you're getting into when you're when you're when you're buying this, right? Like you you're willing to spend that money on like a decent meal. Yeah, that's true. You're not willing to spend it on popcorn that's half air like 60 percent <laughs> air and you're you're basically just drinking butter out of a straw your entire sodium <laughs> in, in one, one, one in, for for a week your yeah. entire sodium <laughs> intake <laughs> okay anyways um after that we have a chamber street station where you have city hall park which is surrounded by the centuries old majestic government buildings that actually date back to 1812 um it the park provides a much needed green spot in a bustling area of in a bustling downtown area, excuse me. Um, at lunchtime, uh, the it springs to life when uh, those working in the neighborhood can relax, eat, and soak in the sunshine. Um, for people watching enthusiasts, the park provides a cross cut of New York law uh, of of New York uh, New York life, excuse me, as government workers, jury members, newlyweds, and uh, and many other people visit City Hall for. For um for new newlyweds actually I believe you get your marriage license here or you can get your marriage license here, um and there's also a bike path which leads directly to Brooklyn Bridge, uh and and offers a different type of scenic view to cyclists pedaling through a picturesque panorama mm. Mm, of some of the city's iconic uh public architecture, um if you're biking I definitely recommend going across the Brooklyn Bridge um as you'll hear in a, in a a later episode, actually, um, I, I've had a an, an interesting experience on Brooklyn <laughs> Bridge, to say the least. But anyways. Uh, also, the Chamber Street Station used to be a lot of a bigger station, used to be served by multiple subway lines. So there's a lot of abandoned platforms at the station. It has a, it has a really, like, interesting, cold, kind, old kind of, like, um, like uh, I don't know how to explain vibe? it. Vibe? Yeah, like an, it's an old, it's like an old vibe. It's kind of like a shell of its former self, kind of thing. So uh-huh. you could take a lot of interesting Husk. photographs. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be talking about Bower Street Station next. Here you have the New Museum, which is just like a cutting edge type art, like like new modern type art, modern uh, art. Uh, and a sticking building, like you know the type of art where like you you draw a line on a piece of paper and it sells for fifteen million. Um, yeah. And yeah. So I mean, that's, that's your, your thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so after that, we have uh, Sarah. There's also a Sarah D. Roosevelt Park near here, um, and then this is uh, it's like a sort of respite in the in the concrete jungle. Um, it's named um, after a philanthropist and presidential mother, Sarah. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, I believe I butchered that horribly, but anyways, uh, in 1934, um, uh, the, so the park remains vibrant, uh, a vibrant common ground for senior citizens, children, and recent immigrants, as well as, um, artists and any other young professionals. It's the largest stretch of open space in this neighborhood, and, and it, it's very, like, it's, like, really long, it's a lot longer than it is wide, um, it, it caters to a wide variety of users. It offers a diverse array of facilities and other activities. And um, highlights include Golden Age Center for Senior Citizen, a recently re- renovated synthetic turf soccer field popular with the, the youngsters, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, several, several playgrounds for kids, as well as a vendor's market and a roller skating rink. Uh, here, the, the J and Z trains cross Williamsburg Bridge with, uh, that's a, very nice uh, bridge crossing. Very nice views. Um, I re- recommend getting there if you're on the train around sunset or sunrise. Um, it also uh, shares track with the M until Myrtle Avenue. So refer to that episode if you need attractions. Um, Gates Avenue is uh, uh, claims to be the oldest subway station, uh, though I, there's a lot of technicalities when it comes to that. Yeah, it's um, it's the it's like the oldest subway station built as a subway station because Far Rockaway station on the A train, um, 
uh, that station opened before, but it wasn't the subway station yet. So if depending on how you classify subway station, it could be either Gates Avenue or Far Rockaway out in Queens. Exactly. Um, after that, I'm going to talk about Chauncey Street Station. Here you have another uh, comedy club called the Tiny Cupboard, Com- uh, Cupboard sorry, Cub- Comedy Club. Um, and funny, haha, that's, that's, that's the point of comedy Comment. clubs. So um, if, you wanna, if you need a laugh, go, go to the comedy club, I guess. <laughs> um, after that, we're gonna have, I'm going to talk about Cypress, Cypress Hills. Uh, this is near the Highland Park, uh, which is uh, it's a conveniently located in a high pl- plateau that straddles Queens, Brooklyn, and Brooklyn. Um, it offers stunning views of the Ridgewood Reservoir, the Rockaways, the Atlantic Ocean, and nearby cemeteries. And acquired in, it was acquired in pieces over time. The park uh, mainly took its shape between 1906 and 1908. Uh, it became... It's, it, it is, ooh, excuse me, uh, extremely popular, smart <laughs> among residents of both uh, of both both boroughs, um, and it continues to play an important role in the community. Um, the The children's farm, uh, the children's farm gar- gardens, act as a hands on uh, classroom. The barbecue areas serve as meeting grounds for mass celebration and numerous tennis courts. Baseball, f- there's numerous tennis courts, baseball fields, handball courts, and basketball courts. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a great place for recreation. Uh, the Ridgewood Reservoir is actually located on the Brooklyn Queens border in Highland Park, and it actually that served as a backup water supply for the two boroughs in until 1989. After the reservoir, after the reservoir's closure, a landscape of woods and wetlands de- developed within the three basins. Um, the pathway around the basins is actually heavily used by. Um, the Brooklyn and Queen residents. Uh, the uh, the reservoir actually boasts being a home for more than 150 spe- 51 species of birds. So if you're a bird watcher, I'd recommend this park a lot. Um, and so uh, the next station I'm going to be talking about is 75th Street, Eldert's Lane. Uh, this is going to be the last station I'm going to be talking about in the J and Z uh, uh, line because the J and Z joins the E at Sutphin Boulevard. Archer Avenue, JFK Airport, and run together until Jamaica Center, Parsons Archer. That's going to be the last stop. Um, so on 75th Street, Elders Lane, you have the Forest Hill Park Golf Course. And if you enjoy golfing, I'd suggest checking this place out. Another shout out to our good friend, Rob Ding. Who is the best golfer in PDS. PDS Varsity Award winner, 2023. Um, but uh, 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 insert an asterisk. And that, that one guy who's like the number one in New Jersey. Actually the, anyways, uh, l- l- looking out the, the, so you can look out the right side of the Manhattan bound trains or the left side of the Jamaican bound, uh, bound trains. And you can see the Franklin K Lane School, whose exterior was actually shown as the Midtown School of Science and Technology, which is, if you're a, if you're an extreme Marvel fan and especially Spider-Man fan, this is actually the uh, Peter Parker's high school. Um, in spite the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. And yeah, so that's all the attractions we saw on the J and Z trains. So next we're going to move on to the L train. Uh, it starts at 8th Avenue, 14th Street in Manhattan. Uh, at 8th Avenue, you have Chelsea in the Chelsea Market, which has a wide variety of international restaurants and shops. Um, you can check out chelseamarket.com for the complete directory. I could not list them all here, but um, Rog and I actually went there. Uh-huh. Um, and they just have a bit of everything, really. Um, it's, it's definitely been like, it's, there's been a bunch of articles about how good the restaurants are. So like if you're looking for a place to eat and it's honestly not that expensive, like some restaurants are, but yeah, but there's definitely a lot of options. So you could find something within your price range if you go there. Yeah. And they also nearby is also the High Line, which is an above ground park built on a former elevated rail line. It goes from around, uh, Hell's Kitchen, Chelsea at 14th street up to Hudson Yards by 34th street. It's a very nice place to go for a walk. There's a lot of greenery and trees along the elevated path, and there's even some pop-up shops on the route. Like a couple summers ago, I was walking along the High Line, and I was able to get a very nice red velvet flavored ice cream sandwich from one of the pop-up shops there. This is like a prime example of like a brownfield kind of being turned into uh, uh, a, like an area for residents to walk around. It's yeah. like it's this this High Line is really cool. I think if you want to if you want to walk somewhere in the city, I I I check this place. Yeah, out. it was a really nice repurposing of the that elevated old elevated yeah. rail line. Yeah. 
Uh, next is 14th Street Union Square. We've mentioned Union Square. Uh, it's a very nice green space along with holiday markets and other seasonal stuff. And there's also a farmer's market throughout the year, usually on the weekends. Um, and here, it's a big transfer station. You can connect to the 4, 5, 6, N, Q, R, and W trains. Uh, then the L makes a couple stops in the East Village at 3rd Avenue and 1st Avenue before it crosses into Brooklyn at the f in the 14th Street Tunnel. Um, so after F in Brooklyn, the L train makes a bunch of stops from Bedford Avenue to Morgan Avenue throughout Williamsburg. Uh, we mentioned this had been the G, the G train section. Williamsburg is a very hip and lively neighborhood, um, very popular with young people, very vibrant nightlife, bars, clubs, the like. Also lots of chic and modern boutiques, restaurants and cafes, along with residential buildings such as apartment and studio buildings. So young people going to New York, this is probably where you're going to spend a lot of your time. Uh, the L then continues into Bushwick and Ridgewood. Again, mostly like resi these are mostly residential neighborhoods. Then stops at Broadway Junction in East New York, which is a major transfer station. Uh, connections available to the J and Z, A and C trains. Uh, the L makes a few more stops in East New York, including one at Livonia Avenue, where you can make a free transfer to the 3 train nearby at Junius Street. And finally, the, end, the L stops at East 105th Street before terminating at Canarsie Rockaway Parkway in Canarsie, Brooklyn. Well, um, that's the episode. Uh, thank you for making it to the end as well as listening. Um, I hope you found this episode extremely uh, insightful or instructive. Um, and we'll see you next time.